Hello, I'm Bill with Motorsports and RVs. I'm gonna be giving a walk around on the Stellar Toy Hauler. This is the 27 FS, really popular model. It's got the size inside that people are looking for for side-by-sides, either two-seater or four-seater. It's got a separate bathroom, walk around queen bed. We're gonna look at all that in a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna go around the outside first and try to point out some of the unique features of the Stellar um, to uh, just help educate it on it. Uh, first off, the uh, dry weight on this is 7,800 pounds, okay? So that is, uh, that's towable by a lot of your newer uh, half-ton pickup trucks out there. I mean, yes, a diesel uh, three-quarter ton is gonna tow anything better, but this is, uh, this is in that neighborhood where a half-ton can tow this, especially your newer ones. Uh, water capacity on this is right about 100 gallons, and then you have a 50-gallon gray tank and a 50-gallon black tank. So that's, uh, that's gonna let you stay out there for a while and uh, not have to come back, which is the idea, right? You can see here we got a power awning. Uh, well, I'm telling you it's power. You can't see that it's actual power, but it is. The LED light strip underneath of it, which is real nice. And then you have three nice big floodlights out here. I mean, if you're out at the dunes or something, you want to light up your whole campsite, that's going to take care of that for you. Um, there's also two big floodlights on the back. They are also LED. Don't look at them directly. Now I have little dots in my eyes. Uh, really nice tires on these two. These wheels, they're just sharp looking. I mean, you know, the black and then a little bit of chrome, uh, 15 inch wheels. So that's nice. It's helping to, uh, when you're cruising down the road, your tires aren't going, you know, a million miles an hour. It's just slowing down. It's not the 14 inch rims, which are going to be going a lot faster. And when tires and wheels go faster, they build up heat and they're more likely to have failure. So nice, good set of tires on there. Um, the trailer is built with these really nice, uh, super solid outriggers here. I mean, you can just, you can tell that's part of the trailer. Um, and then back here, away from the wheel, you've got uh, Z style outriggers. So they come over like this, up, and then they go back. That just creates a stronger engineering type uh, situation. Cause when you uh, load your side-by-sides and that, your tires are out towards the end of this. They're not right over the uh, I-beam in these. So uh, something else they did with that in mind was they widened the, uh, the I-beam frame. So that those I-beams are closer to the edge of the trailer, which again, that's where uh, half the weight of your side-by-side -side is, it's out towards the edge. So it's a lot less expensive for uh, the manufacturers to do a narrower frame, it just saves them money. Uh, not with Stellar though, they've, they've uh, you know, they, these are built for uh, people that are toy hauling and, and out there having fun. They're actually um, heavily sponsored by uh, Polaris Razor. Uh, this is their, the official toy hauler of Polaris Razor. So, that's telling you a lot right there. They had choices of who they were gonna put their name behind and they chose uh, Stellar for that. And also the official toy haulers of the Supercross. So these are people that uh, are out there a lot using these. They give feedback directly to the company and uh, you know, you, you'll see how that's uh, transformed into the actual trailers. Um, and uh, Stellar only builds toy haulers, okay? They don't build regular travel trailers, anything like that. This is all that they do. It's by attitude as the, the mother company, but it is only toy haulers. All right, so coming down the side here, um, we've got some uh, storage area here. You know, pretty good size. It goes back in there quite a ways, and then the, when the bed pivots up, you've got the rest of the storage there. Uh, so good storage area there. LED marker lights all the way around. This thing, I, I don't think there's any uh, regular incandescent bulbs on this anywhere. It's all LED. I could be wrong there, but uh, I mean, 98% of it's LED. Uh, coming around the front here, you have uh, the uh, larger propane tanks. So these are seven and, two seven and a half gallon propane tanks, or also known as 30 pound propane tanks. So that's nice. Up front here, you got the battery disconnect switch. So you just turn that on and off before you head off on your ride, and you're sure that there's no, uh, uh, no, nothing wearing down your batteries while you're out riding around. So that is nice. Coming around the side here, got your uh, Onin 4,000 watt generator. Uh, that'll run the 15,000 BTU AC on this, no problems. May even run the uh, microwave also. That's, um, that's a little questionable there, but it, it probably would actually. This is a uh, 900 watt microwave. So yeah, probably do that. You got the uh, four stabilizing jacks down here. They are manual, which uh, most people actually prefer when you're uh, um, dry camping out there because they are fully independent. Each corner 
uh, the jack can go down. You know, you get the trailer all leveled up, and the last thing you do is put down the stabilizing jack. So you're all leveled, you're disconnected, and now you're putting down stabilizing jacks. These will come down. If this one goes down uh, four inches and hits the ground, the other one goes down 16 inches and hits the ground, they're independent of each other. The power stabilizing jacks you push a button on, not so much. They can kind of start to tweak the trailer. So kind of like the independent part. Got the outside shower. Um, here's your uh, black and gray valves right here. They've tried to tuck everything up as high as they can on these. Uh, so there, there's pretty good ground clearance, but there are things that have to come out below the, uh, below the frame there. Uh, incidentally, on the other side, there is a, uh, um, a propane line. So if you want to do a quick connect for uh, your camp chef and things like that, that is, uh, it's set up for that. Here's where you store your power hose. All kind of goes right in back there and they gave you this hole here. So when you shut that, it's a nice clean look. Um, the water heater is a six gallon hot water heater with uh, eight gallon uh, per hour recovery rate. So pretty much you're not gonna run out of hot water with, uh, with what it's pumping out. You got the slide out here. Oh, and the uh, black tank flush right there. So it, uh, when you're draining your black tank, you hook a hose up to that. And uh, that's gonna send water to shower heads built into your black tank and get that nice and clean for you. So that's nice. Back here, here's your fuel station. You got a 40 gallon uh, fuel tank on this with the uh, pump right here. You just put that in your ride, fill it up just like you would at the gas station. It's got a little electric pump to it. Um, nice. Right in here's the uh, switch for that. It runs on a timer. So you, you flip that on. It's usually like a 15 minute uh, timer, then, then it turns off. So if somebody's messing around with this, and they don't know about that switch right there, then uh, you know they're not gonna be uh, spraying fuel everywhere. It's got a pivot uh, ladder here. It is a walk-on roof. That comes down, there you go. So you can get up on the roof. Being it's a 102 inch wide trailer, total length, you can't have things sticking way off the side here, so that's why they have that pivot up out of the way. On the back here, <clears throat> you've got the, uh, the patio ramp. This is rated at 1,500 pounds, as you see it here. Okay, so if you've got people hanging out back here, 1,500 pound capacity. And then when it's in its loading position down to the ground, it's 3,000 uh, pound rating on that for, for bringing your side-by-sides up in. There's some more of those uh, floodlights up there. And with that, I'd probably miss some things on the outside, but, uh, oh, here's, here's one thing I missed. There you go, right down here. It, this is just a little thing, but it's, again, the feedback that they get from all the, uh, all the side-by-siders, dirt bikers, et cetera, that are using this. Well, here's a little spot to hook a cable to, a chain, whatever, lock down your stuff. So uh, that's a, just a simple way to give you a spot to, to, uh, to tie things down. Okay, we're gonna head inside. So continuing on, first thing, awesome colors in this. I mean, the, the interior decorating in this is just spot on. It's one of the first comments we get when we show this to people is, wow, just love the colors. Kind of light grays with some darker gray, but then like you've got the white uh, speakers and vents and things on the ceiling, which just kind of really pop out. It's a really nice looking trailer. Um, on the back here, I'm gonna slip through to the ramp and the camera guy can stay there. I'll show you this. You got this really nice screen setup, okay? So this goes all the way down and it, uh, it's an auto retracting screen. So you just take it down and when you want to bring it up, it just heads on up and just puts itself back in its little home. So very nice uh, and ease of use there. The uh, table set up here, just like I walked through there, uh, the reason they put the two tables is so that you can walk through and get to the gate. So there's a second table that goes here if you have the back door up and you're just needing to eat inside. Um, Really nice chairs. Uh, obviously, video is not going to do them justice, but nice soft material. It's got this embossed uh, Stellar logo and it, kind of stamped into it almost. Just a really nice, rich look to these. Nice stitching. Um, they just are a swiveling chair, but they do rock, and I'm telling you, they're really comfortable. Uh, back here, this uh, camera guy can come in there. Take a look at that. You've got the 12 volt socket with the two USB ports right there. Maybe if I turn it off, you can see that better. That's really nice, you know, to have the 12 volt. So if you want to plug in a little inverter to charge something, you can do that. And then obviously the USB ports are nice. Um, okay, this is something that, again, being that these are built 
for people that are using their razors and side-by-sides um, they report back with things a lot of trailers have the trim work here come down alongside the window well guess what that's right in the way when you bring in your side by side and you're trying to hug the wall and then you've got this this trim piece coming all the way down along the window the trim piece looks nice but the reality is it's not functional in a toy hauler so I love the way they've stopped right here so that you get full width of the trailer to work with the couch slide out over here uh, the couch itself folds into a bed folds up against the wall so when the slide comes in it still leaves you uh, just over six and a half feet from the edge of the slide out to the wall over here okay um, other dimensions in here you are just over 13 feet to the countertop to the back and then all the way up to the fridge here you're uh, I think it's 14 feet 5 inches all right so you've got really uh, usable space of uh, you know close to 14 and a half feet here to work with so that will fit any of your four seat side by sides that I've heard of. Um, the wheel well down here is drive on. You can see how they've angled that and it's it's made out of steel. I mean that, that's really solid so you can drive your one wheel up on that gives you just that extra width. Okay. Um, in the uh, kitchen here <clears throat> you got solid surface countertop. Okay. Not some cheap knockoff stuff. This is the real deal. The uh, sink is uh, recessed into the countertop so if you have crumbs and things like that you just wipe them right into the countertop plus this color goes all the way through the Corian all right so if you scratch this um, you, you can always buff it out and get it looking brand new again because it's th that uh, look you have goes all the way through it all right get the pull down faucet here that's nice um, backsplash running all the way around not just you know a little piece of it or something it's a nice look to it uh, the fridge, pretty straightforward there. It's a propane fridge, runs on electric also. Uh, the stove with the, the glass top to it, okay? Uh, up here's where a TV would go. It's got an HDMI cable coming from here over to the radio, so if you put a, a DVD in there, you're going to be able to play that right through. Oh, this is really neat too. Haven't seen this on any trailer, really. Dimmable LED lights. So you can turn those down. They eventually go off, but that is pretty cool. So you got a dimmer switch there. All your controls here, the generator uh, buttons right over here. You know, you just push that to start it. A lot of stuff in this trailer. I'm sure I'm missing some things. We're gonna head up front though. And here we have the bathroom. I'm going to kind of step out of the frame and let the uh, cameraman go in there and show that to you. Uh, you've got a nice uh, glass shower door there, uh, porcelain toilet. Again, great lighting in there, which, uh, Helps, uh, well, helps you see everything. A couple shelves, good sized bathroom, and uh, there we go. Obviously, there's nothing like coming down here to actually see it in person than uh, we'll answer all your questions. Up front, you've got a walk around queen bed. Um, again, real nice lighting in here. Just the colors work great with uh, the trailer. You do have, uh, I believe, on the other side there, uh, or right here it is, you have another uh, 12 volt socket. And USB, all right. 12 volt socket. What's great with that is if you have a CPAP machine and you need that, you can plug a little $60, $70 inverter into this. And uh, what that does is gives you outlets, outlets on the other side of the um, inverter, 110 outlets that you can plug a CPAP in. Essentially, you're running that off the battery then. Okay. And speaking of the batteries, on this wall over here, you can see the uh, solar control panel. Okay. So we have. Uh, I believe it's 200 or 225 watt solar panel on the roof. Comes with it, that's awesome. Um, under the bed is the rest of that storage that I was showing you from outside. So you can get to that either from under the bed or over and outside. Okay, I think that pretty much wraps it up. So anyway, come on down to Motorsports Land, take a look at the trailer, uh, any of the stellars we have. And uh, again, I'm Bill and uh, look forward to helping you out. Thanks.